Hey guys, so um, I'm going to be doing the video on the black and purple smoky eye makeup tutorial, like I promised. Um, it should not take you more than five minutes to do in the morning. If you're like me, it takes you like two seconds to put it on. And my voice is kind of scratchy, um, first of all. And second of all, my family is still asleep at 5 o'clock in the morning, so I can't be too loud. Um, so if you happen to not hear me, I have a description in the box what I'm doing. And so uh, let's get started. So first what you're going to need to do is um, prime your eyes. And to prime your eyes, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It looks like this, this little blue bottle. Um, about $18-$20, depending on where you get it. Mine got, um, I got mine from Sephora. It's about $18. This and Urban Decay are the same exact cost. I just got this though because I've been using it for about a year now. And um, the packaging is not like Urban Decay. So you get more out of it than Urban Decay. So you put a little bit on your finger, not that much at all. Like that's how much you put on, on one eye. Almost too much actually. So what you want to do is you want to place on your eye like that and rub it like this. It's really creamy too, so that's what's awesome about it. You go under the eye and on the eyelid. This really good on your eyes too. Other again, other eye. There you go. Now for the eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using um, eyeshadow I got from Ulta about a month ago. And it's called Essence Color and Shine Eyeshadow. It's like that. This is no, uh, number uh, 03. It's a color called Wear It. And it's a pretty purple with metallic silver and black in it. You can't really see the black and silver. I kind of already um, messed up the way it looked beforehand. But it had like some black and silver on the outside that looked pretty. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's very pretty purple shimmer. You probably found it online um, at Ulta's website. It's about a dollar on sale. So I'm going to take a brush. Nothing fancy, just a one dollar brush from Target. And it's got that tip, that rounded smudge tip. That's what you really want. I mean, you can really use any kind of eyeshadow applicator, nothing special. I'm going to use this and you're going to apply a little bit to this eyeshadow. If you're using this eyeshadow specifically, it has a lot of fallout. So make sure you tap the side to get the fallout out. Um, and so after you get that much, if you put it on your eyelid, just put it only on your lid. Like so. You don't want to put too much on there because you're going to be smudging it a little bit. You don't want it to be all blotchy one area, so FYI. Under the other eye. There we go. And don't go higher or lower than your um, crease line. Because it might look tacky. But you want to. Don't know why you'd want to anyway. Um, that's what you do there. You can put some on the bottom, like down here. Look right there. You could put some down there if you wanted to. Um, but I normally don't, so you don't really have to. It's, I mean, it, it's just optional. I don't have to. So if you do that much, now it's time for eyeliner. This is where I go crazy sometimes because black eyeliner I go crazy with. It's so much fun to apply. Just get a black eyeliner. That is mine. I've had everybody you guys watch so much shorter than it used to be. This is one from Carbon Black the Cold Pencil. I have no idea if it's L'Oreal or whatnot. It's just made it's made in Germany. Oh, found it. Right here. It says L'Oreal. Anyway, so uh sharpen this thing last night. So you don't want to sharpen it too much, but you don't want to leave it dull either, just right in between. So with this, what you're going to do um, is you're going to put this and first you're going to outline your waterline with it. And your waterline, of course, is um, the thing underneath here, like that. And I can't do it very long because I eye water up, but um, basically you just outline the waterline by lifting up your eyelid and just kind of going about underneath the eye.
like so. You can see they're not, but it's black underneath the outer line now. And then, um, you can see the other eye. So you can't really notice that much. There it is. I put my water lines on top. And on the bottom, you just gently pull on your with a little bit like that much. And you just simply do this. That's what you do. And make sure you outline the entire um, inner water line so you go all around the curves and everything like that, all the way around. Sorry. Sometimes my eyes always water up and I do water line stuff. Okay, so. See the difference between that lower eyelid and that one lower eyelid? This is way blacker. So just same thing in this water line. And there you have it. And then you outline your water lines is that um normally it makes your eyes look smaller smaller. So if you have really huge eyes, you could sometimes go for this look because it, it uh, minimizes your eyes. So basically it like it concentrates only on your eyeball really, not like the outer um or like your eyelid or whatever. And you make your eyes look smaller, I found out. Um I do this and the outer to make it kind of coated up so I don't have really small eyes. But See the black underneath there? It kind of makes my um, kind of water lines look a little bit uh, soaked a little bit, but it also makes my eyes look a little smaller if you can't tell. Okay, so now what you're going to do is apply this. Um, dab it off. You're going to apply this now to the top. What you're going to do here is you're just going to um, outline it like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be smudging this anyway, so you kind of want to make some kind of thick line just around on top. Like that. Um. That's about almost all you want to do. Not any thicker because you're going to be smudging anyway. Um, if you want a black eye, I would not suggest going more than that. So. And these aren't anything perfect or, you know, um, these aren't perfect lines, they're just kind of smudges. They're not even either, but it's okay, you're just going to smudge this out. And put a simple, small line on the bottom. Like that. And the other eye. And it can be ugly looking, you're going to smudge them anyway. So that's all you do with the black eyeliner. So now what you want to do, get your finger. Don't be nasty. Now you're going to use smudging this in. So, I decide, I just smudge this. Just do this. Pretty much. Just start kind of pushing it into the eyeshadow. Not away, but into the eyeshadow. It has a smudgy looking effect. Keep doing that until all the black is completely smudged in. So it's like a smoky-ish eye looking thing. Um, 
If you want a lot more black, you can add some more black eyeliner and make it and smudge it again. But it's all I'm going to do for this eye. So on the bottom, you do the same thing. Like so. It's kind of a um, smudgy looking dark, smoky eye. And that's way too much black for you. You can always get paper towel and just dab it and dab the line a little smaller and thinner. I'm probably going to end up doing that too. And I'm going to send the other eye. So, that should be your final product. Um, you can only pop up any excess if you want to, or if you want to, um, if you want to go and make the line center on the bottom, it'll look like a raccoon eyes to you. Um, so that's kind of how it looks. And if it looks way too uh, thick on the bottom, then you can always go back in your paper towel and just dab it to be thinner, of course, like I just said before. So, um, this is kind of too thick for me, so I might actually go back and make it thinner. But, um, that's, that's the look you're going for. That kind of smokyish, uh, blackish, purplish eye look. I my hand off, and the finishing touch is, of course, the mascara. I didn't mean for this tour to be this long. <laughs> I'm going to be like five minutes long, but oh well. So I'm going to take some eye shade mascara, and I take um, this L'Oreal Black Mascara, like this. It's got an awkward looking body to it. It's kind of a shaped, like the end shaped kind of oddly. That's what I use. Um, it's probably $8 at uh, Walgreens or something like that. Take a little bit of this. Just that. That's what it looks like on the bristle. And it just applies to lashes, of course. And if you don't know how to apply mascara, um, you really don't do that much. You just kind of get the brush and you just, you just kind of brush through the top lashes. And for bottom lashes, you can just like dab on the bottom lashes, but I just simply look my eyes and the uh, mascara gets on both my lashes. Both sets. So that is it for your eyes. I hope that you guys enjoy the video. And um, so I guess this video is kind of inspired by um, looks like a punk shy eyes look. If you know who she is, um, Punk Shy is her name. She has a lot of makeup tutorials on um, black smoky eyes or anything black on your eyes, ever living looks. But this is simply just a purple and black smoky eye. You yeah, probably can't see the purple part of it, but it brings up my green eyes. My, my green eyes are very, very dark, so adding purple and black really makes the, my, my green eyes pop. Because green, um, purple, and brown are all complementary colors. You, I could use a brown and brown smoky eye. I just had to do purple today. I'll do brown later on, see what it looks like later on too. So that's it for the makeup tutorial. If you have any questions, any um, complaints, comments, whatever about this video, no, I think irrelevant, then um, I'll be glad to answer them ASAP. Thanks guys. Bye.